Hi Matt, and welcome to the club. I'm sure fans will be excited to have someone of your calibre and experience join us. Um, but for yourself, why Salford and why now? I think I'm just excited for, for a new challenge really. Um, I make no bones about a, what's been quite a frustrating 18 months after probably what I felt was a really good first season at Millwall and uh, just the opportunity to get back playing um, was big for me. And I think also, I think any player will tell you to, to to be valued or to be wanted is, is such a such a big thing and it's, it's something I felt really from the first conversation I had with both the manager and the club and um, something I, d I really wanted to, to pursue and, and, and grab with both hands and, and like I said hopefully be, be part of something here. And what kind of player can the fans expect to see? Uh, f firstly hard working, I think I've always generally had a good rapport with sort of every set of fans that I've ever played for really and I think that just boils down to hard work and you know and honesty I think you know ultimately fans just want to see someone who's given their all and, and, and putting in a shift for the team and then hopefully through that they've, they've seen a bit of quality as well and you know obviously being a big six foot six target man is, is a little bit different to what you know the conventional footballer looks like so you know a different kind of skill set maybe but one that's hopefully effective and can bring goals and, and a bit of creativity and a bit, of, a bit of grit in both boxes, really. You've mentioned a different skill set. You're obviously moving from the Championship now to League Two. What kind of different challenges does that bring with it? Do you know what? I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out. I've, um, I've enjoyed certainly the past 10 years in the Championship and you know, I've enjoyed everything that that's brought. You know, different challenges, different teams, you know, technical ones, physical ones. Obviously, you know, coming to, coming to League Two now is going to be new for me. Um, I had a, a very, very brief experience at, at with it. I think I went on back in the day when you could do a 93 day loan. I think I came for a few weeks to, to Macclesfield in my first ever season in professional football, but I wouldn't really call it a, a true experience in the real sense of it. So it's going to be new for me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it um, and hopefully bring a little bit of experience and a bit of nous from, from my past 10, 12 years um, in football and, and hopefully be a success. You just mentioned your past there and obviously you've been on a, a similar journey to Salford in terms of starting off non-league and then working your way to the Football League with your experiences at like Redditch and New Mills. Um, how's that kind of helped shape the player that you are? I think, yeah, I think I can understand certainly the journey Salford's made and almost it resonates with me quite well because I started in the North West Counties League and, and made my way up to the conference and League One and the Championship so I understand how difficult that jump is. It's it's no easy feat. So, I mean, the success the club's had in such a short space of time is, is remarkable, really. Um, so I, I kind of feel a bit aligned in, in the sense that I've kind of gone down a similar path and I understand the difficulties that bring and new challenges, new leagues, you know, everything, you know, the infrastructure of places. So, you know, it's something that hopefully that myself and the club, you know, is a, a little bit aligned in that respect. And um, I, I certainly understand how difficult it is and sort of the hard work and determination you need to, to make that kind of jump. On that journey that you talk of, what would you say your standout highlights so far in your career? It's a good question. Um, do you know what? I think I'll always go back to what was the making of me. And that was the FA Cup in 2013. Um, it's safe to say my first steps into professional football at Oldham were certainly the first 18 months of pretty bang average. I was having a very mediocre time and then the last six months I went from kind of obscurity to headline in a quite remarkable way and certainly the two, um, the, the two goals against Liverpool and then the two goals in the next round against Everton. I think that was really the making of me and it's kind of what shaped my then move to Leeds United and then since that in 2000 and what was that 2013 you know up to yesterday <laughs> it's been uh, I've been in the championship so you know certainly that tournament was was the making of me and probably if I had to look back at a period of time it was it was certainly that. Um, what would you say would represent then success for yourself and the club for the rest of this season and then going on into next season? Well, I think promotion has to be the goal you know it's um, you look at the league table now six seven points off playoffs with a huge chunk of the season left I think you've got to um, you've got to have that aspiration otherwise you know what's the point in competing it's it's certainly within the reach of the team um, you know I've not watched a huge amount of league two football this season but from from everything I have seen and everything I've heard that the team has has largely been unfortunate and has probably performed better than results may demonstrate so that's always a good sign, you know. Now, hopefully, can capitalise on, on 
on good performances and you know you, you put string a few wins together and then it, it fires you straight up the league so I think, think certainly to to have an impact on that top seven is going to be is going to be the the key and the, and the aim of course.